Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. A mud puddle welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'd just like to welcome you to our breakfast time. I'm going to uh, do a brief invocation and welcome you. Again, the, the buffet is out there, so feel free to uh, get out again. My name is Joe Komarak, and I'm the executive director of Face Search International, of which the breakfast you're at. I get to lead a team of speakers and educators that love sharing on a variety of topics, meaning the faith and life. We do those in churches, high schools, universities, and like today at country clubs all over the country and all over the world, actually. So with that being said, I'm going to put a brief blessing on this meal, let you go and get your uh, food and, and refills, and then we'll begin our morning. So Heavenly Father, we thank you for this glorious morning. Thank you for no snow. A beautiful day you've given us. May we open our minds and hearts today to uh, understand this great concept called creation and evolution, where we can find common ground and, and where we struggle to identify where we really came from, uh, a mud puddle or uh, designed by you. Uh, we commit this time and this food to our bodies. May it be blessed to us. And may all the staff that helped out be blessed and the, the cooks and our support team here today. Uh, what a beautiful place. We can enjoy this. We don't take that for granted. Bless us now today in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So you got in a mud puddle is the name of our title today of our study. So what's so bad about this? Well, I find out that some of the people that are now viewed as I'm delusional if I believe something like this or uneducated or weak minded. And that, I admit, hurts my heart. For a quote like this, I know uh, first Carl Sagan, it's far better to grasp the universe as it is really than it is to persist in delusion, however satisfying and reassuring. This quote here, if we're going to teach creation science as an alternative to evolution, then we should also teach the stork theory as an alter alternative to biological reproduction. That's by a ex-follower and a secular humanist. Well, that doesn't make me feel <laughs> very good. That's not very politically correct. That's a bit intolerant, if I would say. There's some hard questions, and that's what we at Faith Search are trying to accomplish with these community breakfast events. And today, about listening, engaging in dialogue, learning, encouragement, that's what today is all about. A good time to explore the evidence for the Christian faith, the creation story, and the evolutionary theory. So as we explore, we came from, again, the message, you got in a mud puddle, making sense of creation and evolution. Are we indeed a random cosmic accident that evolved out of slime? Or in the beginning, did an intelligent designer, God, design all things from nothing? And you're going to meet Dr. Kaya Kloster of Faith Search. She's one of our teachers evangelists. She's out of South Dakota. I'll introduce her uh, soon. But during your breakfast time, two questions. What is bias? And how can it influence scientific observations? And the second one, what's your view on this creation story from the book of Genesis? But let's explore the evidence. Let's enjoy the dialogue. Let's share who we are and what we're all about. So enjoy your breakfast, and we'll be with you in a little while. So get your refills, uh, fill up those plates. I think there's plenty of food out there. Thank you for coming. We hope you enjoy the morning. 